Pep, first of all, what do you make of the way the boys turned that around today? So happy. So we play against Burley <coughs> in the tough role, like uh, what he has done in the Premier League so far is amazing. Uh, and uh, I think it was 90 minutes quite good. Even in the first half, I didn't feel the feeling we were not playing good. Uh, just a little bit of lack of aggressivity to try to score a goal. We spoke in the half time, so we need one goal. Minimum, we're going to replay. So focus, no concede uh, corners, uh, free kicks, and uh, like they are a top top team, and uh, and and try to to win the game. And we did it in the second half. Ninety four seconds between the two Aguero goals, as well as that, as well as the clinical finishes, though two clever passes from Gundogan as well. Yeah. Yeah, it was both goals are amazing. The finishing both goals, the assist, the first one um, was they were clever, quick, and the second one magnificent assist and the dribbling and good finishing. So both goals were were really good. Anybody next? <coughs> Hi, Pep. Congratulations on the win today. Um, you've had. Good success so far this season with Man City, but obviously you've had the trophies with Barcelona and with Bayern. But do you see the, the winning mentality, the same kind of winning mentality in this Manchester City team that you had at your previous clubs? It's, it's tough for me to make a, a compare about the past because it's different realities, different countries, different players, so it doesn't matter. But uh, what, what we have done so far, if you are not strong enough, you have good mentality, for example, against Southampton, West Ham, in uh, winning a bigger stages like Stamford Bridge, Old Trafford. And uh, if, if uh, to, today <laughs> the players know it's a no card game, so you win, you're through, if not, you're at home. And we want to continue that prestigious competition like FA Cup and uh, how they react. Of course, if you are not strong, uh, you cannot do that. But uh, today was a good example because uh, Champions League is in one month. In one month, this kind of situation we are going to live. And the situation is how do you react in that situation. The big example is the John Stone. John Stone make a mistake in the first goal, but that is not the problem. The problem is how he reacted that mistake. He will go down. He didn't play anymore. He didn't fend well. It was completely opposite. And that is the most value for one team to create step forward to, to the other one. So another guy in that situation don't give me the ball because I don't want to play. It was completely the opposite. That's why chapeau. Chapeau because that is the only way to, to make a step forward to create something good for that club for the next years. <coughs> um, the f your equaliser, was there some dispute about um, how quickly you were taking it? Was Sean Dyche and Ian Well not particularly happy about that? You seem to be a bit of a bit of semaphore going on between the two of you. No, I'm sorry, I apologize. I didn't want to have to control, but just I, I said leave the referees, please make their job finally. So since the last uh it's not for Sunday because they have a lot of respect. What 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 does and the way they play, because the way they play of course is completely different than the wanna play, but they do perfectly. That's why football is top. But uh, I think all the managers are around the world, especially here had to forget to make a uh, the, their job. Uh, of course, I have to control. If they were offended, I'm so sorry because I don't want to do that. Uh, but of course, they finish on the pitch and, and, and that's all. Anybody else? <coughs> there was a, in the 21st minute, there was an applause for David Silva after everything he's been through. It was quite a nice moment for him, wasn't it? Yeah, of course. So David is a is a terrible legend for that club. What he has done, so the way they play, he adapt with this quality, technical abilities, adapt on this <coughs> physicality. Uh, I, I'm happy because he made the, the statement, and the reality knows all the people knows exactly what he does, and it's not easy to go to Spain to come back, go to Spain to come back, and come back and they'll play the way we played. So. Uh, so now he's coming back to, to Spain and he's coming back when, when he feels good and, and we are happy because everything is going well and, and, <coughs> and, and today big congratulations for his effort to come back and play for him, from Gundogan, from Bernardo, for Sinchenko for example, playing that position normally don't play and Sigmundsen is always complicated and Barley. 
Danilo, I think he made the best performance, the best game <coughs> so far. <coughs> so all all the guys who regularly didn't play don't play quite often. They were they were amazing. So we need time to recover perfectly to Kyle, to a lot of minutes on B and, and 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 Kevin. So that's why you want to compete in all competitions. You need uh, all the players. And, and especially in that moment, we are in all competitions. Okay, take a question in Spanish then, please. Just here. <coughs> Hola, Pep. Uh, el próximo partido de Liga que jugueu es contra el Liverpool. Sembla que poden perder un de los juegos más importantes que tienen, que es Coutinho. Uh, ¿Cómo com valoras uh, aquest tipo de jugador y si, cómo valoras el seu fichaje? ¿Cómo lo veus? Que yo sepa que jugador del Liverpool. Uh, si parlem de la calidad, es un extraordinario. Uh, next game, Premier League game you have is against Liverpool. They might uh, lose Felipe Coutinho uh, because in the winter transfer market. What do you make of, of this player, of Felipe Coutinho? Well, as far as I know, he is still a Liverpool player, but in terms of quality, he is extraordinary. Hola, Pep. Pese a que Agüero tiene 30, va a cumplir 30 años desde que, desde que te llegaste tú aquí, se ha visto un Kun Agüero que ha progresado de una forma que ha, ha, tiene cosas nuevas quizás en, en su juego. ¿Cómo lo has visto tú en, en, en este proceso desde que lo estás dirigiendo? Yo es un honor para mí poder entrenarlo. Uh, sé que es un jugador de este tipo donde siempre han jugado y jugado y jugado, cuando a veces no juegan pues están tristes. Yo lo entiendo perfectamente. Lo que quiero es que esté feliz, esté contento. Su gran calidad es el área y quiero que haga goles. Necesitamos sus goles como los de Gabriel, como este año. Creo que, que Leroy, Rush, los centrocampistas, hacemos muchos goles y esto nos ayuda. No todo está en las espaldas de Sergio, pero uh, Sergio es esto. La primera parte interviene poco, <coughs> no está tan fino, pero de repente tiene el talento de hacerte dos goles en, en segundos. Por tanto, es un jugador importantísimo y si queremos ganar algo... Este año, el que viene y los otros, su presencia es fundamental. 